Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the fact that QuickBooks Payroll Core has had an update and we want to be seeing exactly what this update looks like. So join me as we're going to have a look at a brand new update to QuickBooks Payroll Core. We see exactly if it's right for your business. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with Fancy New Logo. That QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live each and every Monday morning at 8.30 a.m. for Ask the Accountant. Now, today's video is straightforward. There's been a new product update. We're going to have a look at it, and we're going to see exactly what it's right for you. Now, QuickBooks Online has always offered a payroll solution. They make it a little bit more complicated as they offer two different versions, a core and an advance. And what's happened is the core version has been completely redone. And what's happened is the core version has completely been redone. So we're gonna have a look at it now, see what we think of it, and see if it's right for you and your business. Let's go straight into it. So on my left-hand panel down here, I have payroll, and I've already activated the core payroll in this one. And you can see straight away, it's giving me a new overview page, telling me basically how I'm doing in terms of getting my payroll up and running. In this case, you can see that Am I ready to pay my team? I've got one task left. So, but my payday is set. My business info is complete. I just press this pencil button, take me directly to where I can make changes and stuff if I need to. And it's asking me to finish up adding my team. So let's go do that. So let's finish that up. So the moment the QuickBooks chap isn't 100% ready. I do have an opportunity though to send an invite to the QuickBooks chap himself, press send email, and then we can see what he gets to see. So, on here, I've got an invite directly coming through. You're invited to view your pay slips online and it's asking me to set a link. So let's press copy link and let's do, I could accept this on my phone as well, but let's see what we get on the browser. Okay, so straight into QuickBooks Workforce, seeing what company I'm in. It's asking me um, what period I'm in, so I can see from there. And it's giving me a chance to look at my pay slips up there. So limited functionality don't get the functionality we do in the advanced version but we're just going to get some information in here just so we can start running a payroll let's say it's a monthly payroll yeah looking good i can choose what manager it's going to be and choose departments i can say if it's irregular i can put p45 information in I can put my national insurance in, put tax codes in, let's say it's BR. I can put it to week one and week two. I can choose if it's a director, press save. I can choose what pay types are gonna be done. So let's put a salary in this one. And let's say it's 20. Typical hours, I can put other common types. So maybe I can put a bonus in there. Um, I can put other types of leave in there as well if I need to. And there's an option at the bottom to put additional pay types as well. So maybe a reimbursement as well I could put in. There's even place for workplace pension loans and other deductions. It keeps it nice and clean. One of my favorite advantages of the core product versus the advanced product is the core product of payroll was always the one that used to be able to make sure that you had confidence that your client was gonna be able to do it for you. I have no issues with my clients running their own payroll if they're using this product. Sometimes the advanced version of QuickBooks Payroll can be a little bit too complicated, a little bit too overwhelming, but this one makes it nice and easy. I've got a place where I can put documents in if I need to. I can put notes in here. But let's go through and run our very first payroll. So the idea would be that I can go into now my area here and I've got the option at the, at the top to run payroll. But if I run payroll from here, it's gonna automatically calculate a salary for me. So this makes it super simple, right? But I have the option to pay regular salaries, skip the salary, edit employee's hour for this pay one. So maybe I need to reduce hours by say seven and a half because they had a day off sick, for example. And I can add some extra bits as well. I can put a memo in there, um, sick day. And I can go in and I can maybe put a bonus in there. So maybe we're gonna pay bonus of 100 pound, but also he's gonna reimbursement of 25 pound come through as well. The whole point of this is it keeps it really, really simple. This is just holding my hand, letting me know how to do it. All I need to do then is review the payroll itself. So I press preview payroll. And then I've been asked to put a chart of account into here, where it's paid from. 
So let's just say it's from my bank. I have the option to review payroll details. So I can see exactly what's being paid, what the pay date's gonna be, what's been deducted. I can keep an eye on all of that. Ultimately though, I can submit the payroll directly from here and I can get the pay slip directly to them. So I can download payroll reports if I need to. So I've got total costs, which I can export to Excel. From here, I can see deductions, contributions, payroll details, nicely broken down and total costs there as well. It's then gonna go and get my pay slip. I have the option to print the pay slip if I want to, but the easiest way for me to do that is to see what's available here. So remember, I'm now signed in as the employee itself and the employee can see exactly what's happened. So there's my net pay, hours worked, payroll thing, I can download a copy of it as well. It'll give me a P60 if I need to later down the line. So really, it's gonna do a lot of that hard work for me. So the pay slip's here for me so I can see all the information I might need to see. And from the employer point of view, I've got all my information here as well. I can see payment submission in terms of if full payment submission's done, I can archive, I can look at resources, I can file this as well. And it gives me a nice little task list here to make sure that I'm getting the tasks absolutely spot on. So there we have it, a quick look at the new payroll functionality. This is obviously aimed at the most simplified payrolls, which we love, but it does show you how much that it's come along in terms of being able to make that payroll run nice and easily. It was holding my hand at every single step. It was giving me prompts to do this and do that. And as an accountant, it's one of the only pieces of software out there that I would have confidence in my clients going out there and doing their own payroll because it holds their hand, it helps them go along, it pushes them to make sure everything's done. And the fact now that it's all gives me the option to just add in an employee and put it on their pay, pay slip from here means we can make sure we're compliant as well. Having that new functionality of having the workflow and having the workforce area, I think really does help. And also I love the fact that it just makes things super simple. You don't really need to understand all the ins and outs of a payroll if you've just got a really simple payroll to run. Now, obviously, if you've got a more complicated payroll, you definitely need to be considering something like the QuickBooks Advanced Payroll Solution, which definitely gives you far more bells and whistles, makes it so you can actually grab data from your clients a lot easier. But if you've just got a couple of staff that are on salaried or you're paying your own director salary, for example, like that, I think you can't go wrong with this solution. Absolutely love it. Looking forward to seeing what else they can bring to it. There's more updates I know come in and I'm looking forward to being able to test that. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like the new look of the payroll? Personally, I think it looks absolutely perfect in terms of just keeping it nice and simple and understanding. But what's your opinion on it? Let us know in the comments below and we can have a chat about it. Also, if you want to have a talk about doing payroll at any point, why not look at Boffix themselves? Boffix can do the payroll from start to finish for you, including using solutions just like this. So if you need to have a chat, don't forget to use the link tree below, book a meeting with one of the experts. My name's been Alan Patrick. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, please do make sure you like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, just to help the channel gain that momentum it needs. And also, thank you so much for your continued support. If you want to have a comment below, let me know exactly what you think of this payroll and I'll get back to you as well. But ultimately, I think this is a great solution. And if I was looking to run a business and I didn't have that much payroll experience, I think this is the one I would choose. My name's been Alan Patrick. As always, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to this new series. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh man, you're alright. Yes, I'm aware we go live every morning. The next generation, is that everyone else that missed it? Yeah. So, come All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start? During that period of time, where did everyone turn to?
their account, right? They're advising people, give a new, all the phenomenal work for small business.